Welcome to Google Chrome You Rock, top 13 reasons why I heart this browser. Uh, many people ask, what is up with Chrome? Why is it different? How is it different? Uh, this presentation hopefully will answer a lot of your questions. We are going to move to um, a video and this is just a really inspirational great video just about the power and the possibilities of the internet. It is an amazing place, and Chrome is uh, quite a unique browser. One of the caveats we always want to remember is that no browser is perfect. Um, you will have um, issues with Chrome possibly not displaying content, and you might have to switch to Firefox or Safari or Internet Explorer. Um, this little graphic shows you how to check if you have the most up-to-date version and here I've got a little wrench this little wrench is kind of a control panel and if I come down to about Google Chrome that will tell me that I have this version and nearly up to date it says that I should uh, relaunch so that I do get an update uh, Chrome will keep me posted and manage all of that for me Okay, uh, number one reason, speed and safety. Chrome does load faster than any of the other browsers. It does offer some security, safer browsing, um, better security, security on PCs against malware, and easy updating, as I just showed you, that you can stay up to date with a click of a button, uh, and you know that you're always functioning at the best um, possible speed. Number two, uh, reason why I love Chrome is the Omni bar. Um, it doubles as a search bar and a location bar. I'm going to open up a Safari page and here you can see um, that if I'm going to, I've got two fields. If I'm going to search tallest building in the world, I'm going to use these search terms. Um, I use my search terms in this field. If I'm going to go to a website and I know the URL, I'm going to use this field. And I know that I can use that. It will always work. But in Chrome, when I am in Chrome, I'm going to get a new tab and I have one Omnibar. So I can do tallest building in the world here or I can type in a URL and I know they're all going to be the same. It really can um, lessen confusion, uh, especially with students. So Omnibar, you got to love it. Um, number three, bookmarks as pretty as pictures. They're called Flavicons, and they're just little images here of, of the website. So right here, I've got some Flavicons. This is a bookmark bar, exactly the same way it would work in any browser. I have a bookmark tab. I'm going to... Um, go to, and I think I already did this, if a, a good site is Internet Public Library, and I'm going to show you how to make a Flavicon. All right, so if I want to bookmark this site, I can do it in exactly the same way that I would do it in any, um, and that's not the right site, uh, Internet Public, Internet um, librarian. All right, and 
Here is the site. It's Internet Public Library 2. Um, great for searching um, all sorts of, of information. And if I want to bookmark this site, I can say bookmark this page, or I can put it in different areas, just like normal. Um, and it had the IPL um, here. And if I want to have that listed, I can make it a flavicon, which would just essentially mean I'm going to take away the letters. I'm going to control click on it and it edit that. I'm going to take away my IPL and I'm just going to save that and then here I've just got the picture. So I can just have the image tell me. I can always hover and see what the website is but the image will tell me what the website is. Number three, making bookmarks a uh, space saver, and it looks kind of pretty. Um, number four, what is what? Um, I have three different areas um, when I'm using Chrome. I have the bookmark bar that we just talked about, and I have over here I have extensions, and I have apps or applications. Let me go, I'm going to go to a new tab. This is kind of the best way to show it. Here are apps that I have. Here again are my bookmarks, my bookmark bar, and then these little doodads. These are little gadgets that do things for me. They're called extensions. So extensions, bookmarks, and apps. We're going to watch another video about what are web apps. I think this is kind of helpful to explain. When the web started, websites were simple. They had text. When you were sick of text, you could have more text. And then an image, and then more text. The web, in essence, was about reading. Doing was reserved for programs you installed in your computer. Over time, though, websites evolved. They became faster and more responsive and added richer graphics, audio, video, and animations. Today, websites offer features that are pretty much like those found in applications installed from a CD. We can write and send emails, play games, edit photos, watch videos, and more. One of the cool things about web apps, as we call this new generation of websites, is that you never have to update them. Every time you visit Gmail, for example, you automatically enjoy its latest version with its newest features. And you can use web apps from any device with a browser. Your office computer, your personal laptop, even your phone. At Google, we designed our web browser, Chrome, specifically to run web apps, keeping it faster and up to date with the latest web features, like 3D graphics and apps that work offline. We've now taken Chrome's support for web apps to the next level with the Chrome Web Store, our new online marketplace. Try a web app from the Chrome Web Store and you'll get a colorful new shortcut to this app in your new tab page. And don't worry, you can easily remove an app if you want to. There are thousands more apps waiting for you to discover them at chrome.google.com slash web store. Have fun exploring. And how do I find web apps or extensions? Apps from the Chrome Web Store are like any other program you'd install on your computer, except they are installed and used entirely in your browser. To get apps, start by visiting the Chrome Web Store at chrome.google.com slash web store, or by clicking the store icon on your new tab page. By using the search bar, you can search for a particular app. Suppose you want to install the Weatherbug app to check out the local weather forecast. You can try that app immediately by clicking Install. Once installed, a shortcut to your app should appear on your new tab page. Now you can easily access the Weatherbug app or any other apps you install from the Chrome Web Store through these convenient shortcuts on your new tab page. Even better, if more features are added to your apps in the future, you'll have them automatically we also have a number of categories to help you find particular apps. For example, if you're looking for apps to help manage your schedule and tasks, 
check out the productivity category. Or if you need to take a break, check out some games in the store. There are apps for everyone in the store, but here are some I like to use. It's often hard to keep track of everything that's happening around the world. With one click, you can access the USA Today app to easily browse and read stories in news, money, sports, and life sections. I can also flip through articles using my keyboard, and you can even browse through the day in pictures in full screen mode. Besides reading the news from around the world, I also like to share photos with my friends and family. Before sending these photos, I use the Aviary Advanced Image Editor to touch them up or add some personal flair. This app allows me to easily edit my photos. To start, you just upload a photo or image from your desktop or the web. The Aviary Advanced Image Editor delivers many of the same features available in powerful desktop clients. You can invert colors, resize the image, add effects, and more. These are just some of the cool apps I've found. Discover more by visiting chrome.google.com slash webstore. Okay, so again, we have apps and we have extensions. I need to know um, a little bit about the difference. So again, the video talks about if I create a new tab, if I go to a new tab, and we always want to work in tabs because tabs make us more efficient. We don't have 50 windows open, and I can move tabs. I can change it so I can have... Uh, pages together. Um, when I make a new tab, I always get a, a Chrome Web Store button. That's where I go to purchase, actually they're almost all free, um, uh, apps or extensions. So if I want something that will be a to-do list or a list creator, I can search here or I can go to education, I can look this up, and I'm gonna see apps and I'm gonna see extensions. I'm just gonna add that to Chrome and I am ready to go. It's good just to play. One that I love, here, let me go and show you. New tab, um, here, a timer. This is one of the greatest apps I've ever seen. This timer, um, it would be great for the class classroom. Uh, I can do a countdown. I can set this time. I can do an alarm clock and I can do a stopwatch. I love that one. And then my favorite extensions are Digo, um, Send to Google Docs. I can be on a web page or a PDF and I can get that right into my Google Docs. Um, of course, Evernote, uh, Blogger, those are all fabulous. All right, um, apps to check out. That These are all linked. You can find that in this presentation. Must have extensions. These are all really great. Um, also here you can read about some other recommendations for great apps and extensions that have come in from Twitter. Um, working in tabs, I just mentioned this. You can, um, let's see, if I have, if I need 25 um, tabs open and sometimes I don't think I'm I'm working hard enough unless I have 25 tabs open if I right click on this and I want to kind of condense my space I can pin my tabs and then it's just a little bit more convenient it looks a little nicer and I can hold them there but again I can move these tabs are the way to go um, Let's see, multiple Google accounts. This is amazing. Um, the next two screens go together. Incognito window and multiple Google accounts, six and seven. Right here, I know I have a Google window open and I am logged in um, in one of my domains, which is always good to do. I can hear, come here and I can say, I want an incognito window and this lets me uh, if a student or another teacher wants to get to an account, I do not have to log out here. They can just use this to log in to their own account. And multiple account settings lets me go back and forth from a personal to my school domain accounts as well. Incognito window, love that. Spend a little bit of time on this. Um, settings, I can sync my stuff. So if I do something at home, when I log into Chrome using my um, school domain, I have everything there. I can print from Chrome. I can do presentations in full screen. Um, I can sync my tabs, which um, is helpful with other devices. There's even a jam with Chrome. I'm almost out of time. I want to 
think uh, 